Hi, Bijou Juju here. I'm Steve. That's Mick. And, um, you know, out here in the desert, it is just amazing the scenery that is around. Not that there isn't amazing scenery in other places, but uh, you can just see so far, and it, it, it's so different from where we uh, are back in the on the East Coast side of things. And uh, so we have a lot of pictures, tons of pictures. Uh, you should thank the gods wherever they may be, that um, you don't see all of our pictures because there's a whole bunch of them. Anyway, uh, this is just pictures uh, that we've done in the desert. Um, and, uh, well, we do a little trash talking, too, a little later on. Uh, the scenery is, is quite beautiful, and um, especially the point where uh, Mick flashes the campground from the top of a mountain. Oh, did I put that in there? Did I? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway. <laughs> about you? Uh, the question I have you for you today is, is, who's the first known people to eat mashed potatoes? I'll tell you that at the end <laughs> of the video. Boys and girls. Just wanted to show how green the desert is right now. It has, I mean, it poured all night last night. And it was, it was just pouring. Hear the birdies? And this morning, and hear the birds? Of course, they stopped. Of course. I know this is probably stupid because it's so windy and I'm taking this with a cell phone. But this is the beginning of the wagon road to Parker to Needles. That way, sort of. Very good. All right. Great acting. Here we are walking in the desert. It finally warmed up. It did. It finally warmed up. Right. And uh, there goes a little. I know that many of you probably don't care about walking in the desert, but it's just gorgeous out here. I mean, you can see for miles and miles and miles, and except for the occasional quadrant that comes zipping by at 80 miles an hour and throws dust in the air and you can't breathe for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> it's, it's really kind of cool. And there's a lot of places that um, you can go back up into the hills and, you know, explore the rocks. There's all kinds of little caves and stuff. Um, really cool rocks, geological years, millions of years, you can see the layers. Different formations and stuff. Which I love. Show you, see if I can flip this around. I don't think I can without stopping. I have to stop. We're walking along this road here. Usually we just take off across the desert, but today we were trying to find, there's supposed to be an old mine out here somewhere and we thought we might be able to get to it, but it's a long ways away. We did see a mine yesterday. Uh, but see, there's rocks up there, up there. I don't know if you can see the cave. Pretty interesting stuff, I think. I don't know if you can see them over there, the little white dots. Those are the uh, people camping out here. Rosie is down there just a little away from them because mostly we seem to be antisocial. So actually yeah. we thought that we thought that that was a group over there but I'm not so sure anymore.
This is the view from up here. It's just amazing until you get over here. And I don't know if you can see it. There, I can zoom in a little. That's an abandoned C-Class. That's an abandoned fifth wheel. That is a big trash pile. Down in here is more. And over there, sorry about the quick move. Over there is more trash and the RV that I took a picture of that's like down in the gorge. I don't know if that's a trailer or a motorhome. Beautiful scenery, too bad it's ruined by idiots. Yeah, as Mick said, that's Parker way over there. Welcome back, and here we are. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the first people that they really know of that uh, uh, enjoyed mashed potatoes is, no, it doesn't have anything to do with a recent holiday. It was the Incas. Inca, really? The Incas <laughs> enjoyed mashed potatoes. Anyhow, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this one, and uh, share the video with your friends. So don't forget, please chase your dream. Please go after whatever it is you want to do. It makes the world a difference.